do I need to go to university to become a programmer? This is a huge question that people must be thinking if they're either still at school or in a job and want to transition to the software business. Now, there are quite a lot of different factors about university. Firstly, it's price. Some countries where university is free, then there's almost zero downside to going to university, except time. You know, um, if you're from a background that you don't have much discipline, your parents maybe didn't teach you to, uh, to study on your own, or you just still lack the motivation growing up, maybe you were playing uh, computer games too much and you weren't really a studying person, the discipline of uh, university can help you get to a point where you actually enjoy the learning process. And for me, that was uh, quite helpful. When I went to university, actually it was free because I was in Scotland, but I wasn't a very motivated teenager to, to study. But university is what made gave me the, the, it took almost like three or four years of being forced to learn because I had the exams to when my brain learned to, to appreciate the learning process. So if you're a, a disciplined person, you can actually do a lot of self-teaching, especially with software. Actually, I did some programming at university, but it's after university where I, I taught myself web development. Um, the trouble with university is sometimes they can lag behind the latest technologies. So especially with Jam JavaScript frameworks, say there's a university that spent you know, a year preparing a React course and they have, uh, say, a React version 15 or 16 and they, they sit down and do that course. In the programming world, React can change a version just like that and you can add new features that like, become best, best patterns in the industry in a few months. So say, for example, React, React Hooks. Um, and also, new frameworks come along as well, which can make your framework the less popular framework or framework that even would be uh, not the most um, best for job opportunities. So as I mentor people that are you know, learning web development, um, I tend not to even tell them to go and learn React. I tell them to, to just learn the basics of JavaScript development. And if it comes to new frameworks, I would probably recommend Svelte to, to learn because it's just a much less cognitive load than that React. Universities, they're, they'll lag behind six or 12 months. So do I really want to go to university? Well, if I'm going to spend, you know, I'm talking about England now, nine or 10,000 pound a year going to learn programming, if you have the financial support behind you, um, parents that are maybe well off, and do you, um, or even you don't even mind having a student loan of coming out, you know, 50,000 pounds in debt, then maybe at university is for you. But I, you know, if, if, you're, if you're a motivated person that can be self-taught and you have a choice between doing that and spending 10,000 pounds on a, an university course, I would say just, just come become self-taught. Uh, but one thing I will say is you need to find a mentor. When I became a self-taught web developer, I didn't have a mentor. And I probably spent wasted two or three years of my life uh, just learning as I go whatever I needed at the time. But if I had somebody to sit down and direct me to say this is what you should learn, then uh, things would be a lot more simple. I give an example: one of my mentees who I helped transition from a non-technical career to a software development career. Uh, I spent a few times with him and uh, really narrowed his focus on what to learn and uh, I didn't even spend even too much time after that and I just let him go on his way. Um, that even just a few uh, times of feedback really propelled his career along. So for me, university is a, is a bit debatable if you want to become a software developer. Now, the good, one good thing about university with software is, is that it will force you to learn a lot of the low level stuff and concepts that you might not come across in your career. So a lot of um, algorithms, um, and a technical uh, architecture of circuit boards um, and um, a lot of stuff that tends not to come up in every day to day development gives you a sort of a, a stronger platform um, to, to j jump off from. And perhaps if you look at it in the long term, maybe 20 or 30 years, university might pay off because of that s solid foundation can sometimes help you go further. Um, but the jury is still out on that one. So what if I'm already in the middle of a course two or three years into it, um, maybe you've got a year or two to go, then I, uh, I think in most cases uh, I wouldn't drop out, I would probably just stick with the course and get through it because you've already started it. 
However, if you have a startup and you start to make revenue, um, um, probably university isn't that worth it in the end because if you're a successful entrepreneur, no one's really going to care about your degree. Um, one thing, myself personally, after I did a five-year degree course. Um, I was already doing the software, um, assembly language, and Java before I finished my course. I and mean, I look back, I probably would have been further along in my career now if I had dropped out and just went straight into uh, entrepreneurship, and, you know, software development, that kind of stuff. So that, uh, everything's easier with hindsight. So um, if you have any questions, please leave us a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching this video.